Hello everyone, this is Hideous Gaming doing episode 3 of Firewise. Let's hit that continue button. Awkward silence. Oh, anyways, we're doing part 3 of the Firewatch Let's Play. Hopefully we can get this done. Not Maybe not this episode, because I think we still have a little bit more to do. But hopefully we can get this done in an episode or two. That would be... Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because that I'm would be my response. Superficial. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. I forgot to move my... forgot oh, to move my thing. So. I forgot to move we my thing. We have a similar One second, month. guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot to move my thing. There, I'm going to put it at the top. I'm so sorry, guys. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow, <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm, had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I... I sounds like, like it. me. Totally sounds like me. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna lie yeah, I'm because I cannot grow a beard for my life, oh. and I, I'm sad about that. Beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Do that way. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Got Thank that you, last board of wood. You get what you need? Absolutely. I am scared of anyone that says absolutely in that tone of voice. I am legitimately scared by that. So, let's continue onwards here. Let's continue. Oh, I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Yeah. Well, actually, what's next is me Why cleaning up this goddamn room. Holy hell. And, uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, I'm ready to work in about 25 years. Uh, well. I guess okay. we're ready. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Yay! I'm glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Ah, oh, well, I don't know if that's a good thing if the forest depends on me, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Wait, at least I have a comfy seat. At least I have a comfy seat. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. 
They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, wow. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning. It's definitely me. worth mentioning. Definitely worth yeah. mentioning. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I shall, because that is a beautiful sunset. Set. Sun. Set. Set. Yeah. Can't pronounce my words! Cannot pronounce them! Henry. Henry, wake up. I'm tired. I'm tired. Stop Get that. Bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. <laughs> That's Tori's oh, okay. family. You sound tired. That's because I am tired. I am. Because what time is it in the morning? Time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. Oh, it's your clock. That's great, Henry. That's... Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Day 33. Well, that... That tells you everything you need to know about this character, Henry. Pretty much tells you everything you need to know. Go that away. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Well, lucky oh, how's you. That work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yes. Anyway, yes, it is. When you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Well, wow, aren't you a lazy bum? Though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> okay. I don't know if anyone very So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Mumbles, I mumbles, mumbles. thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. <sighs> I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... I didn't ask? I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. I really didn't Kelly ask that, Dale I We dated for almost oh. five years. Don't you dare do that, Frames. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor Frames. so badly. Graphics card, and I was behave. Sure I was gonna marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over 10 years. And uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. I figured you've told me so much about you. Yeah. What the hell? So, 
Fuck you, forest. Fuck you, fence. Fuck you, I call you the forest. Even though you're clearly a fence, but fuck you. Trying to keep me there. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> a pig. That's who she thinks you are. A pig! That's because I am a pig, honestly. If I'm, to be honest with myself, I am pretty pig. Porky. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Distant yeah, smoke. It's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? It's definitely uh, flapjack. Maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Yes, it was. Totally. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. Ooh. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house nice. and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Me. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... I lied. When the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to Aww. you. Aww. She's hitting on me, guys! I know it's probably it been fake. a while since you've connected that with someone fake. the way we have. But she is hitting on us. I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. <laughs> You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Do do do. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Do. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? A problem there bear. There's a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck <laughs> that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Ugh. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. That, that's, that, famous fast words. Game monster. Go in and out on flame rate. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. 
Henry, I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's cool. I got punched. Knocked out. Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... are you sure you saw what... what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just... oh, this just seems like a... like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. day. Mm -hmm. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, four or five weeks ago? Where am I going? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Where am I Someone going? is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Ah. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, uh, you know, do uh, I don't anything think that's possible. crazy. Like Enemy. taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Uh, let's go. Uh, 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 hiya! I don't know if this is the right way. I honestly don't know if that rope is actually needed at all. Let me double check the map. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's repel down. Oh, there we go. Down we go, down we go, down we go. Hi ho, Mario, down the cliff we go. Stop running here. Check the map. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... That's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And the gate is locked up, obviously. And I can't okay. get it. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout Ruby camp. River. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left... Into the fire we go! Ha ha! Ha he he he! Ha ha! They're coming to take me away! He 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 he! Hoo hoo! Ha ha! 
That's a real song. And it's freaking crazy. But it is a real song. I can link it in the description. I might just link it. And then y'all gonna think I'm nuts. Well, I am kind of nuts. Okay, so where am I heading? Where am I going exactly? Okay, going around. By Mile Creek. Campfire Smoke. Ruby River. So we have to kind of like double back. So we want to go this way and kind of double back. And now I'm feeling like I have to burp. But I'm a good elf here and I will control my bodily functions. And I hear wildlife. Why isn't someone following me? Da da. Da na. Da na 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 na. Ah, let's make sure we get to Ruby River. Okay, go up Cripple Cripple Gulch here real fast. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? I don't know, Darla. Why didn't you notice that before, huh? Why didn't you notice that before? Crazy person. You 36 year old person. I don't know how old it died. I don't know how big she big. How old she is. I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? Nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, well, you just said keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... Listening? I don't know. What? Hailing me? Following me around? Like, working with other people? Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes, and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I... I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course, I'm worried. God dang it, phone! Try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. Hmm. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of cool. years ago. There are cool. lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. I'll definitely keep that in mind. They are pretty cool working. I'm not going to lie. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The <laughs> yeah, scout I'm camp too. is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Ah, I'm moving. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Uh, 
Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There you guys. Why is there a random ski right here? Honestly, why is why the f is there a random ski? That doesn't make any sense. Fuck you, tree. Fuck your ski. You confuse me. I'm going to continue running this way. Oh. some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. In the middle. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> If you say so, Daya, if you say so, I think everyone knows the truth. Is it's pork pond? Uh, let's see here. How am I supposed to get over the gorge here? Or the ravine? And go that way. See you, Smoke. See you. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Rapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Thank you, Henry. That is the truth of any... anything. Where am I going? Jump across. I want to get grab my axe. Uh, let's see here. This is like the only high ground I can see. Class. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever? Since that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make <laughs> rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. 
Oh. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I already touched it. Hmm. Huh. Hey, D, they left something behind. Square Boss Grant Camp Carson. Da, 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 da. 71089, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew. <laughs> really, guys? Really, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew? We're going with that? Okay. Painter Rock Ranger District, 1220 North, Stru North 8th Street, Gary Bowl, Wyoming, 820 8246. R.E. Dr. Simmons at Rapid Station, therefore on Ridge, Squad Boss Carson. In the few next few days, we are, you and your team will be dropping into the foreign re, re, hmm, therefore, for, fair region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Sim Simmons at Rapidy Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want you to speak with you as part of a wild wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them that you have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire, fire lines are the most potent preventative measure and protecting their site, even though they would be more than a mile away. But I think they have gotten insurance companies to answer to. Thanks, as always, for your service. And it's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And thanks. a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just... What, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. Check it out, man! Real happening behind that fence. I think that we should... You boys want to go to Mexico? Maybe this is all just a coincidence, oh, but... My gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? I got an axe. I got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Ah. Thank you, motherfucker. Diaya. Diaya. Her name. God, I can't pronounce words. I suck at this because I cannot pronounce things. But with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to record the next one right after I end this. So I will be right back in episode four of Firewatch, which will probably be the final episode. But I'm not going to swear to it. We will see how long it takes. But I will see you guys in the next episode.